Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to a new episode of Hey, I'm Playing That. This is a new series within that series, lovingly dubbed Spray and Pray, Slightly Stupid Shooters. We'll start off with the exploits of hired gun Thomas Mason in Soldier of Fortune Payback. This Activision-published Cauldron HQ developed title dropped in November of 2007. Make no mistake, Soldier of Fortune Payback is not one for subtlety and nuance. Prime Rib and Hamburger are both beef. However, if the likes of Halo, Call of Duty, and Half-Life are from the prime rib world, Soldier of Fortune Payback is the big greasy burger we sometimes all crave. Payback excels in two areas. All of the guns handle differently and each have their own benefits and drawbacks. Those opting for the heavy gunner route will have to balance the recoil and kick of an M249 with the sheer destruction you'll have at the sheer destruction you'll have at your fingertips. While the assault class of weapons offers a well-rounded blend and damage while still keeping some distance from your enemies. The next thing you'll notice is, is the gore. Enemies who constantly blind, and blindly charge into battle can be dismembered in the most horrific of ways. It's not uncommon to see a fallen combatant attempting to take you down while missing an arm and a leg. This happens quite frequently, and the novelty of it wears off after about the first five or six times you see it. The main drawbacks to payback is that it's about as polished and refined as a lump of coal, and this game is rotten with not-so-subtle racism. The main goal seems to be to lay waste to as many brown-skinned enemies as possible, be it the stereotypical turbaned terrorist cave dwellers or the Jonas Savimbied militias. If you don't know who that is, use Wikipedia. Soldier of Fortune Payback doesn't hide what it's all about. Gun porn, not-so-subtle racism, and lots of it. There's nothing special about this game, and it's about as stupid as it can get. It controls, sounds, and plays just fine. However, don't expect anything amazing. There's no exploration, you're pretty much on a set path. This might as well have been a corridor shooter. Payback, I imagine, achieved its goal of giving, of giving America's worst mistakes Don Rumsfeld and Dick Cheney a goddamn boner. This is porn for them. This is worth the 3 to $5 you can find it for, if only to see what, what gun for hire extraordinaire Thomas Mason will do for the almighty dollar. On the stupid scale, Payback scores the lofty, stupider than a box full of hair. Thanks for watching, everybody.